Hey guys, it's Sarah from The Glitter Guy, and today I'm going to show you a basic step-by-step -step on how to glitter your tumbler using the Mod Podge method. Here's what you're going to need to do it. Mod Podge. I use the matte Mod Podge only because I usually find that, that it's the cheapest, uh, but you could use whichever one that you're more comfortable using. Easy Tack by Krylon, a stainless steel tumbler. We're going to use spray paint. I'm using Rust-Oleum Aqua. I only use Rust-Oleum spray paint. I find that this gets the better coverage for the price out of all the brands that I have tried. Glitter. We're using Sherbert from The Glitter Guy. I use a paintbrush. This is a 3 4 inch flat paintbrush I get from Walmart. You can either use a foam brush or whatever you're more comfortable using. Sandpaper. I'm using 240 grit and supplies to hold your cup. I'm using to hold my cup a cut PVC pipe with a pool noodle on the end. The only thing I have done is put a little paper towels on it with some tape to thicken it because over time it has deflated. You can use a rag, an old sock, whichever you're more comfortable using. And I like to have something to hold my cup. This is a pen holder from the Dollar Tree and it's gonna hold our cup while it's drying. At the end, I'm also going to seal the glitter with an acrylic sealer. Today I'm going to use Eileen's. I like to seal mine with an acrylic sealer because when I go to epoxy it, I find that I shed less glitter into my epoxy and typically I'm epoxying more than one cup at the same time. So first we'll need to prep the cup. You're going to want to take your stainless steel cup, scuff it with the sandpaper. You're going to scuff the entire cup and when you're done, wash it with soap and water. I decided to go with the Rust-Oleum Aqua to go with the Shorebert from the Glitter Guy to give it a more different look. So I've already pre-prepped this cup. I have sanded it, I washed it with soap and water, I let it dry, and then I base coated it with the Rust-Oleum Aqua. We're going to get out our Mod Podge and our paintbrush. Once I use a paintbrush in the Mod Podge, um, I find that it's never the same again. It always winds up getting hard no matter how hard I clean it. So it forever lives in a cup of water after that but I still find that it lasts at least three to four months and the price point on these isn't so high that it really makes that much of a difference to me but I prefer the paint brushes over the foam brushes so right now I'm basically just putting mini globs of glue onto my cup my cup is actually going to be my glue palette when we straighten this out you don't want your globs to be too big so that they start falling off on your table, but once you actually start doing it, you'll find it's a much easier than you think it is. So once I'm happy with how much glue is actually on the cup, we're going to start from the top and try to bring it all the way down, but working as fast as you can because Mod Podge starts drying pretty quick. I'm not really paying attention right now to if it's even or not but we are going to want to pay very good attention to that on our next step. Right now I'm just making sure that the whole cup is covered in glue because this is the way that I find it easiest to add Mod Podge to the cup, but you're all going to find whichever works easiest for you naturally. Wipe all this Mod Podge off my brush and remember when you're doing this you're going to want to be working just a little bit quicker than I am. I'm just taking my brush and making sure everything's a as even as I can get it, taking off all the extra glue. If you get these thick lines in your glue, then it's gonna show up in your glitter and it's not gonna look nice in your overall finish. Once I feel like it's where I want it to be, I go around one more time as fast as I can, just to make sure everything's still as wet as it can be. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that after you glitter your bottom, you flatten out the bottom rim because you might have just pushed glue right back up there. One more time around. Inside my tray I have pieces of paper to catch my glitter on. So we're just going to do quick, even layers. I'm working as quickly as you can. And I'm just hitting the end of my stick to knock off any glitter that has stuck to it. And then for my bottom, just place it right inside the little glitter pile. Some of the glue's probably still wet, so I just sprinkle a little real quick in case there's any spots that I might have missed while working so quickly that I can get glitter to stick to right now. After this, we are gonna let this dry. 
We're gonna use um, the spray glue for our second layer, but I really like using Mod Podge for the first layer. I feel like it gives me a much better first layer than just the spray glue by itself. But the spray glue is definitely a lot easier and faster. So we're gonna do that for our second layer. So I'm gonna let this dry real quick. We're gonna put all of our glitter away so nothing happens to it. Inside my tray here, I mentioned I had paper. This is just recycled paper. We have written on the backs of it. So it's gonna be my scrap glitter catcher. And real easy, slide it right back in my jar. So my cup has been drying for at least 15 minutes. So we're gonna put our second layer on. We're, we are using spray glue and because it's gonna be a time sensitive project, you're gonna to wanna to spray it in the house. I use a cardboard box to catch my spray, uh, my overspray, and you're gonna to want to also. Shake it up very well. At home, you're gonna to wanna to put this box on the ground and spray into it. You're gonna have a lot of better control over it, but because I want you to see what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray it on my table. So all you're gonna do is just even strokes all through the cup, turn it, and you're gonna notice. You're gonna be able to visibly see where you put the glue, so you're gonna know when to stop. So now that we have a nice even layer of spray glue, we're just gonna do the same thing we did with the Mod Podge. And get the glitter on there as quickly as possible. I like to turn my cup a little towards the side that there's no glitter on yet. In my head, I guess, I just think that I'm helping out myself a little bit more if it falls on there as it's falling to the ground. But you guys will definitely come up with your own little things as you're doing these on your own. So now that my cup's fully glittered, I'm doing the same thing that I did with the Mod Podge. Getting my bottom and just making sure that I didn't miss anything on the way. If you feel like you haven't gotten the desired coverage of glitter that you want, Every color is a little different, so certain glitter colors you might have to do another layer, and that's fine. Just do it with your spray glue, but let it dry in between always. So once you have reached your desired level for your cup, and the coverage is to your liking, you're just going to epoxy it now. I like to seal mine before I epoxy it. I use an acrylic sealer or the clear gloss by Rust-Oleum. Uh, I've been using Eileen's right recently and I like that one so I'm gonna seal this but I'm gonna do it outside because this is the odor of this is very strong and you do not want to spray this in your house. I find that when I seal it before I epoxy it the glitter is shedding less into your epoxy so it's not only easier to apply it to your cup but if you're going to epoxy more than one cup at the same time you won't run into problems if they're two different colors and your glitter has shed into your epoxy. Thank you guys for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join us on Facebook at The Glitter Guy or Tumblr Hacks 101 for more videos and tutorials. Thank you.